Hi guys, today I will be showing you how to make this guinea pig, this exact one, or hamster. And you can make it whatever color you want. I'm going to do the orange and white. And you'll need about 117 single rubber bands and two C-clips. And you'll also need some holding instruments. I use some toothpicks and also some hooks, but if you don't have two hooks, that's okay. So let's get started. First, we are going to make the hind legs and the front and the ears. So taking a single rubber band on a hook, we are going to loop it three times. And we'll do this two more times. Taking a single band and loop it three times on a hook. So that's three bands on a hook. Loop it three times taking a single band and we're pulling all those loops onto the single rubber band. That's what it should look like and I'm going to this time take a toothpick. If you have a hook, you can use a hook or you can use um, a pencil or anything that you have but it might stretch it out more. So that's the hind leg, and we'll make another one, same thing. And if you want, you can do it on the loom. So taking a single band, looping it from the first to the second peg, and it's going to be thick. And taking your second band and cap it off by looping it three times. And you'll do this for two more bands. So take another single, capping it off three times push it down and the last then third band same thing cap the end peg three times go all the way under all those cap bands grab the bottom single and we're going to pull it through and here I don't want to stretch it too much so I'm going to take one side off and very carefully slipping those loops right off that end peg. And once again, I'm going to put it on my toothpick or a holding instrument to add to my body later. That's my second hind leg. Now let's make the front legs taking a single band. We're going to loop it from the first to the second peg and one more down like that. So single bands coming down twice and we'll do it for the other leg. Two single bands. I'm making my front legs white and now taking a single band and we're going to cap it by looping it three times and we'll do that twice. Take a single band and cap it off looping it three times. You'll have a total of four bands on each front leg. So take the single band for the other side and cap the end peg three times and do it one more time for the front leg. Now go under the cap band, grab the bottom single and loop up and just keep looping up to the first peg. That's what it should look like. Do repeat on the other side. Go under all the cap bands, grab the bottom single, and loop up and onto the first peg. Once again, we are taking these off the loom. And I'm going to put it on yet another toothpick to add to our body later. So these are our front legs. Put it aside. Now let's make the ears. Taking a single band, looping it from the first to the second peg, and my other ear will be orange like that. Now taking 
a single band and once again we're capping it off by looping it three times and repeat it for another band so you have a total of three bands per ear taking the other ear taking a single capping it off three times and with another band capping the end peg three times go under the cap band grab that single and loop up and onto itself and for this skinny pig here I did it like the foot so the ear sticks out more but it's up to you if you want it to make it like the foot to attach it for the ear this time I'm going to make it so it sticks out less so we'll see how it turns out and we are going to take these ears off the loom and we're going to put it aside for later get it on your holding instrument like that now let's work on a guinea pig so my back is orange and you can make it brown half brown half orange or whatever color you want solid even so taking your single orange and we're doing this 10 times and we're going from the first peg twist making an X in the center to the second peg and just follow it around your loom 10 times with 10 single bands make sure you cross it in the center of each space between each peg so that's my first set and you should have 10 rubber bands covering 10 pegs this is my second row I'm cut, taking a single rubber band coming from the first to the first right and I'm going to add my hind leg one side of it so I'm taking one loop off my holding instrument and attaching it to the right first peg and I'm going to let the other loop hang for the time being and now push it down a tiny bit take a single band this second row we're not going to cross it we're just putting it straight so make sure you put it straight and we'll come down two times three to the fourth peg take your other hind leg and we are going to attach it on this peg here so we're attaching it to the fourth peg on the right once again take a loop off of your holding instrument and attaching it onto the fourth peg and leaving the other side hanging complete your second row with a single band and if you're going to switch color you can so just coming straight covering all ten pegs with a single band My second row is done. It should look like that. And now we're going to take a hook. We're going to go under on, on each peg, grab the bottom two bands, and loop up onto the center. Like that. And where the foot are, I'm going to reach on the outside very carefully, grabbing the bottom two and looping it. up and over to the center and repeat for all 10 pegs so make sure your hind legs doesn't get twisted this is our second row go around your pegs grabbing the bottom two bands and you should have only two bands left on each peg after you loop up to the center
push it down. We're working on our third row now. Taking a single band. I'm taking orange again. And I'm doing orange for my third and fourth row. So my third row taking single rubber bands, 10 of them, and just covering the 10 pegs without crossing it. And going under, grabbing the bottom two bands and loop up and over for all 10 pegs. And this one here where you attached the, the hind leg, you should have three bands on the fourth peg on the right. Loop those three bands up and also the first peg on the right. You should have three bands. Reach in carefully grabbing the bottom three on the first right peg and loop up and now you should have only two bands on each peg. Push everything down. That was our third row. Fourth one, same thing. I'm just taking single orange and it's coming straight across, covering all 10 pegs. Push it down. That was our fourth row. And sound like a broken record, but we should have two bands on each peg. And now on the fifth row, I'm going to start on my next color, which is white. So I'm looping it from the first to the first right. And we are going to attach the hind leg to the, the um, first right peg, the loop that we have on the holding instrument. So take that loop and just attach it to the first right peg. So it should look like that. And we are going to continue with our single white across from the first right to the um, second and just keep coming down to the fourth peg on the right and we're attaching the bottom, the other hind leg taking the loop off your holding instrument and attaching it to the fourth peg on the right, like that. And make sure all your loops are under so it doesn't get tangled. And now finish up with your white band or whatever color you're using all the way around, covering all 10 pegs. So this is our fifth row. Once again, we're going to go under. There should be two bands at the bottom. Just loop up all two and all 10 pegs. Push row number five down, all the way down to make room for row number six. And the first and the fourth peg on the right side of your loom will have three rubber bands. So taking my white, I'm just coming across single bands covering all 10 pegs. Under the first right peg, grab the bottom three bands and loop up and over to the center. You should have two bands left and just continue around your loom. 
The fourth peg should have three bands. Just loop it up and over. Push it down. Now on this seventh row, I'm going to mix color and I'm going to add my ears and my front legs. So I'm taking a single white, starting with white, coming from the first center to the right first, then taking my front leg, I'm attaching it on the seventh row, and I'm going to attach the two loops. It should look like that for my front leg, and I'm attaching it from the first right peg to the second right peg. And be careful it doesn't come off your holding instrument. So that's what it should look like on your loom. And I'm going to continue with white. And on the third to fourth peg, I'm attaching the other front leg. So once again, the front leg should look like that with two loops. And I'm attaching it one side on the third right peg and the other side on the fourth right peg. And I want them to stick down or outwards. Let's continue with white coming from the fourth right to the center fifth peg. And I'll start my orange coming across like that from the center fifth to the left fourth peg. And now I'll add my ear and I'll do orange on this side. So I'm attaching it on the third left peg to the fourth left peg. So that's one of my ear. And if you made your ear longer like the foot, it's the same. You're just attaching it the bottom two loops onto the third and the fourth peg on the left side of your loom. And using an orange, coming once across. And I'm attaching the other ear, taking it off my um, in holding instrument, attaching it from the first left peg to the second left peg. So your ears and your front foot should be right across from each other. And now since this side is white, I'm taking a single white and closing it off. So that's what your creation should look like right now. Once again, we're going to loop, go under, grab the bottom two bands, and loop up and over. To the set, uh, center of your creation. Going around all 10 pegs and you should have only two bands left on each peg. Push it down. That was row seven. Now row eight. We're going to add the eyes. And I'm going to start with white from the first to the first right peg. And continue straight. with white and now I'm changing it to orange to there and now where my ears are I'm going to add the eye so between the third and the fourth peg I'm taking a single black looping it four times on my hook like that whatever color you want and mine is orange and getting it on the hook and pulling my eyes onto my single rubber band and attaching it from the third peg 
to the fourth peg on my loom on the left side where my ears are, right over my ears. I'm continuing with a single orange from the second to the third peg on the left, attaching my other eye, taking a single black, you can use whatever color you want, looping it four times on my hook, and this side will be white. So I'm taking my white and pulling those back bands onto the white and attaching it from the first peg to the second peg on my loom and finishing it off with a single white to close up this row, row number eight. So that's what it should look like. Once again, we're going to go under, grabbing the bottom two bands, looping up and over to the center Push all the pegs down. Your guinea pig or hamster is almost done. Now for the ninth row, we are just going to take a single band and just closing it up or covering all 10 pegs just across. Make sure you push the bottom bands down following my color pattern, changing to orange here. And back to white. Once again, go under, grab the bottom two bands, and loop up and over to the center. So that's what your guinea pig should look like and he's ready to come off the loom. And what we are going to do, we are going to take the loops and get it on our hook. So I'm getting five because it gets too crowded. Just get the two loops off of each peg right onto your hook. And I'm taking off five of them at a time. If you have more room, just get the other one. So I have six, and I have a hook, another hook. If you don't have one, get your other holding instrument and just get the two loops off of each peg, the rest of them. And there should be four pegs left with two loops on each. And let's go ahead and pull our guinea pig off the loom and the ears are pretty flat on this guy so we are going to have to cinch up his face I'm taking a single band, twist, double it, you don't have to do that, you can just take a single and we are going to get it on one side on our hook and we're going to fish it through pulling all the loops all six sets of two bands or two loops onto the single we just doubled. Have your hook secure or have your loop secure on this end and now it's handy to have two hooks because with this side I'm grabbing the other hook, I'm grabbing the other loops and getting it on my second hook and pulling the bands right onto or right through the loops, the four loops, the four sets. So that's what you should have. Now your guinea pig's face, front face is cinched and I'm going to get the loops onto 
a single hook and now we're going to tie a slip knot by pulling one side up and bringing the other through. If this is too tight, do the single band, don't double like I did. So that's our guinea pig's face. Taking your C-clip and getting the loops onto the C-clip like that and tuck it inside his face tuck it the back part so it doesn't get stuck so there's his little face his ears his eyes let's do his nose for his nose I'm going to tie a knot and you don't have to add a nose it's fine like this but if you want to add a nose taking a single pink and going to tie a knot so at the end of my loom twisting it over creating an X twisting it back and pulling it onto the first peg it should look like that go under grab the bottom band and loop it to the center and repeat on the other one your knot is there in the center get it onto your hook like that and let's take it off put your hook through the center of the hole where we cinch the our guinea pig's face and grab the loops right onto the hook like that and pull it through there's his nose and if you want to make it more secure we can attach it onto the C-clip getting the loops right onto the C-clip so his nose is on and now we'll cinch up the back and we are going to it's ruffled like this and now we're going to pull the two loops on towards the body not the one on this in the center there should be 10 sets of two loops so get it on your hook so there's one just go to the next one there should be two loops two and they all should be towards the body three four see these frills five six it's getting a little tight getting my second hook seven eight nine and ten pull it out a little and like we did for the front of our face we're going to do the back taking a single twist double it and you don't have to do this just taking a single band put it on your finger getting one side on your hook and pulling the loops right onto that band just getting all the six loops onto my single I just doubled make sure my this side is secure and if you don't have two hooks you can put your um, toothpick or holding instrument on this side and then pull your hook out and make sure you're going around the circle and right now mine is backwards 
on this side. So I'm going to transfer my loops very carefully. If it comes off, it's okay because we can just pull it back in getting those loops. So the, my loops are on my toothpick and I'm going to put my hook in the right way and try to make sure it's not twisted, the bands. So getting all four sets of two bands onto my hook, grabbing the other end of the single I doubled and pulling those bands onto the single I doubled. So now the back of my guinea pig is cinched. All I have to do is tie it up. So getting the loops onto my hook and tying my slip knot once again, pulling one side, the one furthest from the hook over the other one and fishing it through. Tie it tight. Don't break your band. You'll have to start over and taking your last C-clip and putting the loops onto the C-clip to hold our creation. And now once again we're going to slip it right inside him. There it goes. Pull out the ears. You can adjust the eyes. So there's our guinea pig or hamster. I hope you like them. Thanks for watching.